For this video, we're going to take a look at the fill tools. And we're going to start with a basic example. This one here on the top left. Now we looked at a fill tool in the previous video when we were demonstrating how the add point tool works. So let's just review that method again by coming over here to the fill tools and I want to locate the create shape tool. This allows us to highlight different points in an attempt to create a shape. So here we have this particular shape. I'm just going to click and create a shape by lassoing around this particular guide, just like that. When I do this in release, you'll now see we have a red checkerboard indicating this is selected. And at the top with the create shape tool, you have the ability to choose if you want to fill in just the fill color, stroke, or both. And it will take what you have from the style panel to apply this. So here, we're just going to create a shape. And you can see now it has been filled in and it's looking good. Now I'm going to undo this with Control Z or Command Z. And let's take a look at another fill tool. This one might seem more familiar if you have used, let's say Photoshop or other graphic design software. The fill bucket allows us to point and click and fill in a spot that is currently closed in, such as this shape. You have the ability at the top to choose between fill, stroke, or both, just like before. And here you can also choose if you want to reduce points or attempt to reduce points once you fill. Because when you fill in, Sometimes Moho will add additional points to make the process work. So if we come down here and just click once, you can see we're able to create a fill color without adding in any additional points, which is really useful. Complex shapes can be an issue with this. And so if you find that you are filling in and a bunch of points are popping up due to the details that are being filled in, then you can go in and choose to reduce this as you use the paint bucket. The next fill tool on the list is the delete shape tool. So if we come in here and click anywhere on this shape, it's going to remove the parameters of the fill. Coming over here, we have the line width tool, which allows us to, with any point, click and drag and adjust the width of that line with that point. So if we come in here, you can see we're able to expand this out and shrink it down and allows you to manually just set the style of the lines. We have then the hide edge tool, which allows us to retain the shape, but hide the line. So if we, for instance, wanted a gap right here, but we want to retain the fill, we can come in here and just hide that. It's still there, just hidden. You have the stroke exposure, which works kind of similar, but here you're able to show exactly what part of the stroke you want visible. So by clicking and dragging and moving back and forth, you can see I'm able to choose which part is exposed. And one more feature here to highlight is the color points. If we come in here and we click on any of these points, such as this one right here, and come over to the swatch, you can see we're able to come in now and add a color surrounding this point. So let me just add something like this so it's easier to see and click OK. And from here, you can adjust the color strength. So if you want it to be more dominant, you can increase that or decrease it as you see fit. And you can come in here and apply these colors to different points. And as you can see, you're able to create a pretty cool looking effect just by overlaying these colors. It's a nice little gradient. And as you move your points, you can see here that they move along as well. So it's kind of cool. And here are a couple other features when it comes to using this tool. As an example, let's say you want to create a fill that has a hole. Well, one easy way to do this is you have your main shape. I'm going to come in here to, let's say the add point tool. And we're just going to add in some points like this to create a hole. Then coming over here to the create shape tool, we want to select this entire shape. So if I click and drag, I can select the entire shape. And you'll see here that Moho is able to recognize that we want to punch this out. So you can see the red grid is going to indicate where we're going to fill in while the white is going to be left alone. So if we come in here and create a shape, you can see now we have a hole and it's pretty simple to set up. 
you may find that you're dealing with more complex shapes. And if we were to come in here, let's say, and highlight this, and then go to create shape, you can see that it's not going to locate those holes like it did with the other example, which means in a case like this, you're probably going to have to go in and do some manual filling. So if, for instance, you did want this part to be punched out, you might have to come in here and just select certain pieces of this first, such as these points and then this hole right here. And then if you go to create shape, then you're able to fill in this part. So we could go in and create the shape like that. And you could keep moving along with that method. You could also use the fill tool. So coming in here with the paint bucket, we could come in and click and drag. And you can see this also has an easier way of detecting shapes. Although you will also notice that the line work might become a little bit messy as you continue to do this. You can see right here we have multiple lines working now with this to create the fill. So there's just some things to keep in mind as you work through this. And one more note that can be very useful, especially if you have a complex shape and you're not quite sure why something isn't connecting. Let's just go to right about here. You can see that I have this shape that's not complete. But if I click on the Create Shape tool and highlight this oval that I'm making, we have the ability to select Connect and Create. So if I click on this, what it's going to do is use those parameters that we had set up, but then bridge the gap between those two points that we had not connected. So here's another example of Connect and Create. We have this very basic example of an outline of a character that we were starting to draw with our freehand tool. And just the way we have the line set up, you can see that there are some gaps, which would be problematic for filling in different objects. So we have a gap there, gap by the eyes, gap by the nose, we have one right here. And so it would just be difficult to fill in. However, if we come over here with the Create Shape tool and we lasso everything, I can use Control A for that, and we come up and choose to connect and create, you can see that it actually comes in and fills in those little gaps. So we're able to continue working without having to go in and alter the line work in a significant way. Now, you might have to go through, depending on how complex your issues are, and do things piece by piece. Perhaps you need to select certain parts of the character and then fill those in and then fill in other parts in order to get the complete fill. So you might have too complex of an object in order for Moho to figure out exactly what to connect and create. And if that's the case, just go in and isolate things and break it down further, like start with one area, fill it in, and then another area, and keep going like that until you get where you need to be. But connect and create is a great option, especially if you're freehand drawing and you find that sometimes your line work isn't quite connecting, that's okay because this tool has you covered.